Hello, people inside YouTube. I have a different video today. Uh, it's called The Adventure to Find Some Starfish. So, I'm gonna walk around in this low tide area. And we're gonna go out to a little spot that I always see them. So, here we go. A little squishy, but totally walkable. I might see some gooey ducks or something, too. There's a little water squirting out of the ground, that's what that is. I've actually never been here when it's this low. What we usually do is walk along the train tracks up there, and then we just have to run if a train starts coming. Now, this is deep, but I've got my waterproof shoes on. I'm not too worried. Beautiful day. It's just a little cloudy. Uh oh, that was a deep step. Perfect weather, nice and warm. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. Maybe like a 10 minute walk to the starfish spot. There you can see some kind of ship or barge or something. Um, Man, I bet we can find some crabs today, too. If we flip over the rocks, you can always see like a million. Oh, there's a huge one! Whoa! This one appears to be dead. It's big and red. I never see him that big alive. What else we got? Oh, I just saw a big squirt from a G uh, gooey duck. Another one. Might be a gooey duck. Might just be some kind of clam or other bivalve creature. I just call them all gooey ducks. Because I like the word. Yeah, there's a lot of squirts all around me. There's just so much wildlife out here. I don't want to step on any of them. Oh, and there's some blue herons. Those are cool. Oh, this is way more animal packed than my normal trail video. Oh, these guys are eating up all the shellfish. I just saw some water squirting up. Beautiful herons. Correct me if I'm wrong on the species of these birds, but they look like herons. Kind of bluish. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Some kind of wormy thing. It's kind of gross. Yeah, this is nice being able to just kind of walk. Oh my god, a black sand dollar. I've never seen a black one before. Maybe it's just dead or something. Whoa, it moved. It didn't move. Maybe water was just coming off it. I'm not that smart about animals, so I might say misinformation, and I apologize for that. That's a huge clam. I bet a bird definitely ate the inside of that. What else we got? Man, it's just a feast for the birds today. All these little things. These are tons of sand dollars. That's a huge colony of them or something. That's freaking sweet. Okay, some little clammy guys down there squirting water at us. So usually, I'll do one continuous shot for these videos because I'm lazy about editing. Uh, this one, I might take some breaks and just 
Dude, is that an alive thing or just some string? We may never know. Um, I may turn off the camera at various points, turn it back on. And just squish all the videos together so it's kind of choppy, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just keep it rolling. Oh man, if the tide comes in fast, that'll be scary. But for now, it's just excellent walking out here. It's really rushing in. Is it just a wave? Unsettling. Deep water. Man, this is just the best place to walk in the world right now. This is Bellingham Bay. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but that's where I'm at. Got my family off camera. They choose to not be shown. So I'm respecting their privacy and filming this solo. Oh man. I bet there's so much stuff living under this sand. It's normally covered up with water. We've got a little buoy or something over there. Oh, this, whoa! Something's squirting water out. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, okay. Holy, holy, holy cow. I just got sprayed by like four different jets of water. Oh, man, I'm getting out of there. That was too much. I lost control of myself. I'm hysterical. Oh man, those things squirted all over me. Oh my god. Clam pee or gooey duck juice. I don't know what it was. Ugh. That was awful. It was, you know, one of those things that'll happen when you walk around this area at low tide. Oh man, there's just like eight things all squirting at me at the same time. Okay, that was my adrenaline rush for this episode. Alright, so you can see the kind of a little spit or just barely a peninsula out there. That's where we're headed. That's where the starfish live. So Unless I see something really cool on the way, I'll stop the video and start it once we get to that area. So, get ready for that. Wow, huge squirt of water. That's what made me scream a second ago. But as we can see here, we've located a starfish. And I usually only see them attached to rocks, so this is pretty special. Seeing them just on the ground here. And I might touch it, but I'm a little bit afraid. It looks like it might have been pecked by a bird. But it seems to be alive. I hope, oh, it might be bleeding. See that red stuff? Anyway, oh we'll see some more later. Okay, we've inspected the starfish. It seems to be alive. And the plan now, since it's kind of exposed here, is to sort of ninja star it into the water, hopefully away from the mouths of all these hungry birds because they want to eat it but anyway I'm gonna pick it up it looks gross I don't really want to touch it but I do want to save its life oh my god it's so freaking squishy this is disgusting this is the most gross feeling I've ever felt oh my god oh my god oh this is so gross but I want to save it oh man I just saw a huge purple starfish too Oh, this is the grossest feeling ever. I'm just gonna wing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so slimy and disgusting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you throw it in there? Yeah, I threw it in there. Oh my god, that was the grossest feeling. Oh, I could feel inside its little leggies and those little filaments that help it move around. Oh, but on the way, I saw a huge purple, healthy starfish. So I'm gonna take a look at that. Where was that anyway? I remember somewhere around here. Um, sorry for all the rough pauses and everything, but I'm gonna look for it now and turn it back on when I find it. Okay, so I don't know where that huge, excellent purple one was, but 
It was definitely somewhere around here. They're so well camouflaged, being purple and everything. I was walking out here with that gross one in my hand, and I saw just an excellent, healthy, huge purple starfish on the underside of one of these rocks. And probably when I go back and look at the video, I'll say, oh yeah, it's over there, but... Oh, there it is. Freaking found it. So this is it. Oh man, this one is healthy as heck. Oh, look at this guy. Oh yeah. That's the one I was looking for. He's trying to hide under this thing. I'm just smart. Dang, look at that thing. It's so purple and nice. I feel like the best thing to do is put this thing in the water. Oh man, my family is gone, but I would have loved to see this guy. Maybe I'll bring it with me. Because I think this guy is not so slimy. If he's not stuck on here, I'm just going to pick it up. Oh man, this is the grossest feeling ever. Mm. Maybe I'll just put it back the way it was. Okay, you stay under that little shade, buddy. Put this back. It's really stuck to the surface there. Otherwise, I would just pick it up and carry it with us. We're going to see some more. Oh, man. I didn't think I'd see these guys so soon. And that kind of half-dead one was disgusting to hold. It's just like a ball of snot. Usually a healthy one, just like that one I touched, is kind of... Outside's a little bony or something. It feels like it's like a living rock. But, uh, yeah, I'll see if there's any more. I'm so glad I found that. I almost gave up. Let's see if I get squirted by those little subsurface clams or gooey ducks or whatever that was. Yeah, there's just like eight jets shot, shot at me all at once. I kind of freaked out. Shocked me. But yeah, this is just... The tide is so low. I've never been here when it's this low. Usually the water's like up to those big rocks. So you gotta walk by the train tracks and just hope that one doesn't come. Today, though, we are lucky as heck. Comes the tide, I guess, so... We've got a limited amount of time, supposedly. I don't know how fast the tide comes in, but... I know at least it's not all at once. Quickly. So if we saw a live crab, that would be freaking sweet. I'd love that. But, um... The fact that we saw those two starfish already... Means that this was... The perfect time and place... To come looking... At sea life. Here in Bellingham Bay. Oh man, I hope that water didn't just go on my shoe. Some big squishy steps here. And you can see just little jets of water shooting all the time. That's really catch you off guard sometimes. And then of course, there's little flies flying around. They're pretty gross, but look at that bird. Excellent bird footage. Wow, I've never seen so much wildlife all at once. Aquatic, avian. If we saw a, a, like a sea mammal, like a, a seal or a sea lion out in the water, that'll happen sometimes. I've seen those guys. If we saw like an otter, that would be astounding. I don't even know if they live around here. But, making progress toward the trees over there. Just beyond those trees is where we'll see the excellent starfish habitat. Look at that bird. I bet these birds are all happy because they got to eat all this low tide stuff. So much stuff out here. that mysterious noise it sounds like rice krispies 
I don't know why it's rice crispy around here, but it could be all the barnacles doing something. Because everything is covered in barnacles, as you can see here. But yeah. Keep going. And uh, pause it one more time and start it up when we get to that uh, rock mass up there where the starfish are known to collect. All right, now we are on the rocks. So usually the water's up to where this uh, plant stuff is, but um, now it's way down. So typically we see starfish up on these rocks here, but they might have migrated somewhere else. But these are the very cool rocks you can see eroded by the water. And now, I'm gonna go here. Oh man, I might slip. Okay. Okay. So last time we were here, we were kind of in one of these cracks, kind of along here. I don't see them now, but maybe they're down there. Oh, I can see a bunch down. Oh, there's tons. Oh, this is cool. Starfish. I don't know what I was looking for. There's excellent starfish down here. Oh, man, there's a bunch over there, too. Hey, there's a whole bunch over here. Okay. Okay. So we have a bunch there. And some over here. Oh, there's a pink one. That's cool. So yeah, they kind of moved down in the underhang there. And then this thing. Oh man, I love how purple they are. There's a ton over here too. They all just balled up in here. They're very still. There's always one pink one and a bunch of purple ones. I wonder what the difference is. I bet that one over there is happy being in the water. Um, but yeah, I see. I can't even count how many. There's just tons. So that was the bowl. Uh oh. Someone might have slipped, but I think it's fine. Um, yeah, I just see tons. This is the best. Best place to see starfish that I've ever found. And they just look excellent. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave them undisturbed by just like looking at them. Uh, if I see anything else interesting, I'll add on to this video, but that was the goal. Find these guys. They look freaking sweet. Especially that little cute one on the side. It's like a little family. Anyway, we'll see if anything else happens on this trip. Oh, I'll see a big one over there too. To be continued. Um, so we just just have more starfish to look at here. They're just excellent. Um, I kind of want to touch that one that's in the water. Oh, something squirted at me. So I know the ones on the rocks here, they're so stuck. But how about the ones in the water? Are they also stuck in there or can you pick them up? I hate to disturb wildlife just for no reason, but oh no, in the water they they're not as stuck on there. Oh man. If I found one fully submerged, I bet I could just pick it up and examine it and then put it back. But you can see it's just endless. They're, they're everywhere here. And even when we go to the ocean, we don't, it's kind of rare to see a starfish. I don't know why. But um, this place, they're just abundant. See, this guy was trying to hide. Oh, they are awfully stuck in, though. Oh, man, that's the grossest. Oh, it's like a little bit bony on the top, and the sides are just slimed up. I'm just kind of looking for one that I can pick up. Like this guy. 
No. They don't like to move, and I don't want to hurt them, so. If I can find one that's just kind of chill. Oh, man, look how... This guy is huge. Look at this thing. Oh, my God, they just feel like an alien. What the heck was that noise? Something just made a loud noise under a rock. That's scary. But, uh... Yeah, this is just endless. Like, these guys are extremely successful as organisms, I guess. What's that sound under there? I don't know what it is. And then there's a Rice Krispie sound behind me. I don't know what that is. But, I can get a little guy here. Maybe they're not quite as strong. Oh, come on. Don't want to let go? Come on, guy. Come on, guy. He doesn't want to let go. Only one leg holding on strong. The rest were pretty chill. Oh, man. I just want to find one I can pick up and be friends with for a minute. Toss it into the water. I don't know if they're, like, happier in the water or stuck to a rock next to the water. Because for all I know, there could be like a hundred in the water. And these are like the stragglers that are like, come on, Tide, bring me back. Oh, look how fat that thing is. What has this thing been eating? These the monsters are huge. Oh, the grossest feeling in the world. Usually I don't touch stuff, because if, especially if it's slimy, I couldn't pick up a frog. Oh my God, that shocks me. A huge jet of water. I don't even know who made that. I don't get blasted by that. But let's see these guys. Now. Man, if I was a bird, I'd be pecking all over these things. Oh, yeah, there's just so many. Hey, there's a little teeny tiny crab. I can see him in there. If we flip over a big rock, I bet there'd just be just tons. Just tons. Man, I think maybe we'll include that, maybe as the finale, kind of a, a rock flip of crabs. Oh man, these guys are all just disgusting feeling. I don't know if I've emphasized that enough, but I'm not having a lot of joy touching these guys. I'm just endlessly interested if I can pick one up. Oh, come on, just let go, dude. You're so close to letting go. I hope I'm not traumatizing them, but you know what? I could be a bird and I could just be murdering them, and I'm not that, so don't judge me too harshly. I'm just touching them and letting go. And they're extremely committed. Oh, come on, guy. And the other thing is, like, these guys don't even have brains, so they don't have any idea what's going on. I don't want to say that to be insulting or anything, but for real, they don't have brains. Oh, you slimy guy, I don't want you. Okay. Yeah, it seems like they all really want to stick to their rock, they don't want to let go. It's not going to stop me from touching them a bunch. <laughs> Look at that guy. Come on. This is the one that's the least stuck. So if we can just convince this little finger to come off. Come on, finger. Come on, get off of there. It doesn't want to. It just doesn't want to. Okay. Just a little pet. Try to respect the animals while I'm just bothering the heck out of them. Come on, this thing. Oh. 
there's a disturbing amount of phones inside the, the shore area here. A lot of people, I guess, dropped them and gave up because they went in the water. Now at low tide, we see like a dozen phones, which can't be good for the local wildlife. But then here I am, bothering the local wildlife incessantly. Okay, well I think I touched all the ones here. Stay tuned for uh, either more starfish or a potential rock flip with crabs. Okay, we're a little further down. I'm running out of battery, so I'm not going to get a lot more of this stuff, but I just saw something pretty cool. And it was one of those pink ones just dangling off a rock. So we've got tons of these big purple ones. And they're all in here. Look at that. Oh my god. Now we can see the underside which is the grossest part of them. You can see inside. Oh, look at it. must be dead. That is super disgusting. And flies are all around here. I thought I was going to pick this thing up. No way. That thing looks pretty decroted. Life and death in the starfish's domain. What is that red thing? Oh my god, is that an octopus? What is that? Holy crap! Oh, what is that? Oh, I'm freaking out. I feel like I'm in the ocean. But I'm on land still. What the heck is that? Oh my god. I've never wished I had a stick more than right now. I'd be poking and prodding and stabbing and... Yo, what the hell is that? That for real looks like some octopus body part or a sea cucumber or a slug or something. Oh my god, what is that? I think it's a sea slug. I thought it was an octopus or something. Like part of it. But that's for sure, like a cucumber or a slug. You can see it's like inflating slowly. Holy crap. What else is in here? We got more stars. See stars? That one is a totally different kind of never seen before. Man, this is the best freaking thing. Okay, here's another one. That's like the one that we just looked at. It looks more, even more slimier than the purple ones. So this is super gross. Oh man. I don't want to touch them, but this is just the best. What's that red stuff in there? Nobody knows. This is just like a touch tank of an aquarium. Look at that thing. What is that? Nobody knows, dude. Okay. So, there's probably more stuff all around here. I feel sad we saw that dead one, but like, that's... That sea cucumber thing, let's check that out again because what the heck. Mysteries of the deep. Mysteries in the deep. Exposed. For humanity to see. Man, I never saw this many starfish here before. Look at this thing. It's like a lung. Oh my god, what is that? What are you? It's like an alien. We'll never know, truly. It seems to be slightly moving. Yeah, dude. What? Anyway. Oh, there's all kinds of gross stuff in there, too. Nobody knows. I don't know. There, what is that thing nailed to the wall? Something pink is inside there. It's an animal. Hey, here comes the water. Don't worry, little guy. Oh, my God. How about a close-up? Close up of its head. You tell me what that is. Because I don't know. Oh my god. Okay. To be continued again. Okay, there's something crazy going on over here. We're on the train tracks. And there's these animals fighting up there. Hopefully we can hear it on the video. They're like old badgers or something. 
I actually saw them from far away, but I can't get a good look at what they are right now. Yeah, you can see them. They're up there. See, what, uh, what is that? It's some kind of... Oh my god, what are those? They're badgers or something. I hope this is visible, because I can see them. Oh my god, what is that? Are they raccoons? They're just up on the hill there, like I'm not going to be able to get much closer. But you can hear the sound. And I saw them wrestling. Maybe we can go over here. Are they on the stairs? Maybe I can get a better shot. There they are. Oh, I think it's raccoons. We just heard that sound from way over by the water. A bunch of raccoons fighting in here. Never thought I'd hear that. Oh no, it's like a badger or something. You see him? He's right there looking at me. Whoa. He's looking right at me. That guy. I wonder if I can zoom. I don't think I can zoom on this. You can see him up there now. There might be otters? I don't know. The otters stay in the water. I don't know what's going on up there. You can see him fighting. See that? This is the most wild animal stuff I've ever seen. I can see that little guy up there now. Oh, look at him. Oh, right there. What the heck is that, dude? What are those? Someone who's a biologist, tell me what that is. Look at that guy. Whoa! Are they mating? I hope that was visible because I can see it. Whoa, that was wild. They're still going. Yeah, shaking that little branch back there. Okay, well. I think they're out of view. You can obviously hear them going to town. But uh I'll save the rest of the battery for some crabs at the end. Alright, here we are. Back at the start. I'm gonna try to overturn some rocks here and see if there's any crabs living under there. Not under these ones. We might have to go more this way. Or the I don't even know if there's crabs, honestly. I see some big dead ones every once in a while. Oh, there's a little one. Oh, there's two. There's a teeny tiny one and a pretty big one. Not big, but bigger than that. Let's keep going. We need to find a good one. This is probably my favorite thing to do at the beach. Is yeah, disturb the crabs. I can't see anything in there. Nope. No crap. Let's keep going. We at least saw two. It's pretty disappointing though. I'm used to anybody? Nobody lived there. How about this? Ah. Yeah. Too stuck. Any crabs? And more of the drier, higher up parts. Whoa, gross! It's one of those things that's been shooting at me. That's a gooey duck. Oh man, you can see it. We finally found a gooey duck. A gooey duck? Ah, it's squirting! Oh, I really don't want to touch it. Do we have a stick? Um. Do you see a stick? That is a gooey duck, dude. 
Oh, it feels so disgusting. Okay, touched. Oh, I can't believe we found a gooey duck under there. That's awesome. Oh, I see some movement. We might have crabs. Yeah, look at that little crab in there. There were some crabs. Okay, check this. What's in here? Nothing. That's a something. That's not a crab, it's something more gross. Okay. Ooh, is that a gooey duck? Or a rock? Oh, it was a gooey duck, I touched it. Ah, don't touch it. Ah! It's just like a gross tube of meat. So, not my favorite. Oh, I can't believe I touched gooey duck. It's actually the first time I've seen those outside of ow. I splashed myself really bad. What else is in here? I don't see anything crabby moving. Okay. Ooh. No, that's just a seaweed or something. We'll flip over something else over here, maybe. Maybe this? Ugh. It's too deep in water. I think crab's like a little bit closer to the surface. There's a big dead crab. Maybe we're on the right track. Any crabs? Um, no. Let's keep moving up. What about this? Yes, look at that crab. Perfect. Perfect. That's a rock. Good. You can see this little crab. No, oh, we found one. Found a couple. Hey, wake up. Ah! Who's gonna get me? Yee! Ah! Scary guy. Okay, sometimes you'll find like 30 crabs under there all hanging out together, but sometimes you don't see as many. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay, this is good crab content. He is peacing out. See you later, dude. Look at those little pinchers. Okay, I think that's it for crab hour. And uh, that's the day at the beach. So to recap, what was there? We saw some starfish, saw a dead one, or dying one that I threw in the water. Saw a purple one. And then uh, we saw the huge starfish nest. We saw the scary red thing. I think that was a sea slug or something. And then we saw, it was ended up being um, sea otters fighting in the forest or wherever that was, next to the train tracks. And then uh, crab hour. And that, we saw that gooey duck's face or whatever, the hole that it shoots out water from. Um, and yeah, that was all the animals. That's the day at the, at the beach here. Low tide, great place to come. Great time to come to this place, rather. Uh, yeah, that's it.